Right, for safety reasons, I'm going to keep the camera on. For safety reasons. Because there are golfers. There's one there. And that means they'll be hitting off. Where do they hit off from? I don't know if they hit off from here. But he's on that one at the moment. Then they have to hit off. But the ones you've really got to watch is the, the ones hitting, the ones practicing up here. I don't know if he hits off back there, I don't know. Or oh, does he hit off up here? Not sure. But you can't tell where they're hitting to get up to the top here. It's dangerous, by the way. They don't stop hitting either when they see you. But I can't see any balls. Not here. Not this high up. Not many people hit this far up. 550 yards. about and where's he gonna hit from there's Weston's Hill for it I gotta keep going because that golfer will be heading for that white and black pole I can't see any balls maybe they're not doing it they got the flags up though but it's my luck Five young men are turn up. Oh, I've just seen a flash of a blade. Have you? Yeah. Oh no, they're still doing it. They're still doing it. I'll have to move over. We'll see how far they get, how far I can go. So there's one there. There's one now. Once we see the ball, see there's one there. Somebody can hit this far. Somebody can hit this far. It's a bit risky. There's two people hitting off. Is there? They could hit you from here, Shell. I know. I can't see. I hate doing this, do you? Yeah. I'm going to go over here. This is dangerous, see? Just doing a little bit as I leave the golf course. It's always a bit risky doing it with practice people. It is quite risky because where you walk you come across balls. And um, right then, I don't know if it's playing up, but anyway, this is Helen Hill. And normally I go over there through a stile and down into Bleeding. 
but I want to actually keep that walk for a walk when I do across Hutton Moors and up this way. I want I don't want to do this now because I want to keep it for another day. You can also go down that way. But I'm I'm going to do the Roman road. I'm going to do the Roman road. I'm just going to climb over this gate. What's that? Uh, burnt no. I haven't done that for several years now. Cows will be out in some fields where I normally cut across. I was so sad doing Brent no. It reminds me of when I lived in Barrow, so I tend to avoid it. For now, I do like doing it, but some things I'm trying to forget. I used to go up there when I was unhappy drunk and unhappy to end up up there. Right, so I've put another battery in here. I'm going to be lazy. No, what it is, I want to keep bleeding. I want to actually keep bleeding for when I do a hut and walk up and down. That's going to be one of my short walks, which I might want to do one afternoon. I don't want to overdo it today. Um, otherwise, it won't be the same. It'll be a bit repetitive. Now, I rarely do this, and it's better doing it this way because it's all downhill, right? It's all uphill to get to here. So basically, I think I trod in some, well it could be cow dung, not sure, but anyway I'm going to do a little bit of videoing, take the old photo, I'm going to turn off, I'm not going to do a lot of videoing, this is a Roman road. And um, like I said, I'm keeping Helen Hill and bleeding for a different another time. It's only half past two, but it'll be a good hour, even two hours before I get home. So, and I don't want to rush that last bit. Bleeding Hill and Perrin Hill, I want to do on a separate occasion. This takes me all the way to the hospital eventually, this road. So, um... I'm doing it. It can be a fast road. People treat country lanes like speedways. See, look at that. See? To keep, to keep on like speedways. That's um, the entrance to the golf club, Haywood Park it's called, well it's actually a house, I think the people that might own the golf course live there. Like I said, people do drive fast along here, but it's not ultra busy. 
The hardest part I'll get is when I get down the bottom and I got across the road. There's a nice view, look. Of course, further up there, you've got the donkey farm, by the way. The donkeys that live up there work on Western Beach. A lovely view there of um, Brent Hall. Right, I'm going to turn off for a while now, folks. Over and out. I'm going to lose Kodak video for this final part of the journey. I've taken pictures. And coming down the Roman road, I've decided to leave Hellinch Hill, Bleeden and Perrin Hill for another day when I want to get off at Hutton and walk up through the lower part of the wood. I don't want to do it today because it, I'm keeping it for another time. Um, I've done this, this is much easier walking down this road than walking up it, believe me. <coughs> but I do normally do Hellinch Hill, but today I'm deliberately not, because we're going to do that hill another time. Lots of gated properties here. Mulberry, this is Mulberry House. See, they all have these posh gates, don't they? I've got to stay here while somebody passes. I've got to let them see me as well, because they might suddenly turn in. So I sort of have to stick out a bit. Yeah, I thought, well, just yeah, do Kodak at the end. You've got it on charge. Why not? And there's cool patches. Like I said, if I get back to the hospital and it ain't too late, I can go, the shop will be open. I can go and buy a cake in there. They do really nice cakes. And um, they're expensive though, but they are really nice. Don't forget, I've been doing walks every day. This Every day the sun's been out, I've been walking. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, this is where the rich people live of Weston, by the way. They live a different life to the rest of us. Is it? Yeah. They've got no idea how the rest of us live. Yeah. Mind you, I've got ancestors who lived like they do. In luxury. But we don't... It doesn't happen all to everybody. Might be in one generation doesn't necessarily follow on. Though people do inherit money, depends what they do with it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Smile, you were on... T Hello? I can't remember. You're on my camera. Ha-ha! <laughs> that sweet little thing. Is there a little dog somewhere? Look where he is. Puppies, all right? Well, oh, look at that sweet little cottage there. Isn't that sweet? See, I don't often walk down here. That one's being done up. Looks pretty old as well. Little hobbit home, isn't it? Get a lot of council grants now. Well, you were. I don't know if they carry on. These are like little hobbit homes, don't they? These, that one, that one, and that one. Little hobbit homes, I'd call them. That looks like a council house. Well, you probably did get the old one up here. 
something coming again. You just got to let them see you, but don't stand in the middle of the road. Because if they don't see you, they could tuck in quick and catch you. So you've got to let them know you're here, but don't then just sort of jump out the way. Once they've seen you, you can move over. This one's not hurtling down either. So you can just uh, lean on the side here. Right. Yeah, I've got a more of a dangerous road, which might be busier because it's coming up from bleeding. I don't like doing roads as a rule, but this one isn't too bad. Look at that lovely view over there, look. Lovely blue clouds. Blue, no, white clouds, blue sky. It's changing though, isn't it? You can feel the change in the air. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying it because I do like to look about when I'm out. You just got to be very, very careful when you walk roads. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm videoing, so if anything happens, I'm capturing it. So you go on that road now. That will take more people from the village of Bleeden. So it'll be busy for a different reason. But I have walked it before and eventually a pavement does turn up. It's a lovely tree, isn't it? That one there. Now what I tend to do here, because there's a corner there, I tend to have to, I know you're supposed to keep on the face of traffic, but sometimes if it's a sharp corner, you really need to be over the other side of the road. As long as it, they come whizzing round, they don't see you there. Right, Bleeding Hill. This is where we are. We're at Bleeding Hill. That's the way down to Bleeding Village. Okay? Now what we'll do, but it is dodgy, we're going to, um, we've finished Roman Road. This is where they don't see you when they're coming this way, but then they won't see you from that way if they come around the corner either. I, what I tend to do is swap sides depending where the best view is. And you get some beautiful views walking along here of Breen Down and steep home. When you get further up you get some gorgeous views. I'm going to turn off for a little while, I'm just going to take a picture.